It's the bottom of the eighth inning of a July game between the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. The score is 7 to nothing in favor of Boston. The Red Sox have assaulted Blue Jays pitching all season long, leading to several large blowout victories. Boston have not been humble about it either. Consistently showing up the Blue Jays' pitching staff after smacking them around. We join this game with the most prolific slugger in baseball at the plate, the Dominican Arnie Ramrod. After falling behind in the count 0-2, he does a fake bunt and then calls a timeout in an attempt to mess with the rhythm of the Blue Jays' Derek Law. Another try at 2-2. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. This is not the first, nor likely the last time that a team takes exception with the shenanigans that the Red Sox pull on a daily basis. They don't much care for the unwritten rules of baseball and are chastised heavily by the purists for it. Immediately following the hit by pitch, the Sox dugout phone began ringing off the hook. It was Mohamed Coyote. He was furiously demanding to be inserted into the game to get retribution against the Blue Jays for hitting one of his teammates. Even though it wasn't a save situation, Boston allowed him to begin warming as everyone is too scared to say no to Coyote. Fast forward to the top of the ninth inning, Mo jogs in and throws a warm-up pitch into the batter's box. The umpire did not seem too concerned. Muhammad Coyote takes the mound here. Not a save situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Coyote immediately drills the Blue Jays' best hitter, Vladdy Jr., in the back. He made sure to throw a cutter as to not be too suspicious. Anyone with a brain should know it was intentional, though, as Mo had already hit 19 batters on the season. He was not content with only hitting Guerrero, though, and next up was Justin Smoke. Here's Justin Smoke now. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set and the pitch. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And now that third base dugout has really come to life. They are not happy about that last pitch. Hard to blame him. And I think it's going to lead to a warning as you see the home plate umpire coming out. And he will indeed issue the warning to both benches. Yeah, and at this point, the home plate umpire is making it clear to both teams that he's not going to tolerate any back and forth of hitting batters, and nor should he. It becomes a player safety issue at that point. Ouch, that one hit him. He went right back after the very next hitter, and I think that's going to be the last pitch he throws in this one, and indeed it is. That's all, says the home plate umpire. He's ejected from the ball game, and you could see that one coming a mile away. Yeah, at this point, it's just becoming a matter of player safety. You can't have a guy out there hitting back-to-back -back hitters. It certainly looks suspicious, but even if there wasn't any intent, he probably doesn't deserve to stay in the game anyway. Mo was ejected for the fifth time so far this season. Some people call him an unsportsmanlike player, but the Red Sox call him a loyal teammate.